Yesterday, I talked about The Promised Neverland and how it gave me everything I wanted in a show, and especially how it gave me everything that I wanted from Attack on Titan. So today, for the 12 days of anime, I felt it was only right for me to now talk about Attack on Titan and how it did not give me what I wanted, but instead gave me something much more. Especially Season 3, which I haven't dedicated a video to yet, so let's fix that. This is going to be as spoiler-free as I can when talking about a basically four season of Titans, so be warned. Season 3 was different. The first two seasons were amazing, with a story filled with suspense and awesome action. But Season 3 wanted to do something more. So it went in a new direction. Part 1 of Season 3 focused on the political environment of the world. And while Part 2 started with the type of action I was expecting, the last five episodes featured hardly any action, but instead focused on world building. This is the type of storytelling that could easily go wrong. Some of the shows push their story so far that they just fall apart. But in Titan's case, it turned what was always a wonderful story and made it even better. The first thing that stood out to me about the season is how the show fleshed out the shades of gray within the characters. The overall concept of the show let there be a clear line between good and evil. Humanity is good, and the Titans are bad. But through the political focus storytelling, we see the different sides within humanity. There's conflict between those who want to reach out and kill the Titans and those who want to just live in peace within the walls. And it's not so easy to say which of these two perspectives is right. There's also the question of if it's really right to ally with and empower a terrible person if it's for a greater good. And then it was fascinating how the heroes were forced to fight and kill other humans. They have no moral issue with killing Titans because the Titans are monsters and just want to kill humans, but is it right to kill another person who just chose a different side in the conflict? Well, that's harder to answer. And just the whole political struggle is great, with the mystery of trying to figure out who is doing what behind the scenes. It was also really cool seeing the connections between the characters in the past, and how those connections would lead to the current events. Yes, I'm being vague, but hopefully you know what I'm talking about. There's still some action during this part too, which was obviously great, and I liked how it was different than what we normally saw with it being more between people instead of just titans. Part 2 is where the season really got interesting though. It got right back into the battle against the Titans and yeah, it was great. It took a little bit for the action to get going, but once it did, it was probably the best action that the show has ever had. And one of the things I love about Titan is how overwhelming the Titans powers are. Despite these being skilled warriors fighting them, there's still a ton of danger they face, even against the weaker Titans, and this is really felt by the viewer. And the powerful Titans, well, those were definitely the highlights of the action. You have the characters struggling to find a way to survive, much less win. There's a lot of despair for the characters here, knowing that they very well could die here. And this is Titan after all. Character death does happen. There are a couple of great moments of heroism too from some of the characters that really stood out. And another thing I liked is how I was able to give just enough focus to the minor background characters to let us connect with them, even if they might not be more than cannon fodder in the end. And of course, how the end of the battle, well, that felt good. It was painful, but satisfying. But then it felt like the show was taking a deep breath. There's an episode that focuses on the choice a character has to make, and just the conflict within him is incredible. Not to mention the aftermath of the choice. Hard to talk about without spoilers, but really good episode. Then we learned the truth about the world. And learning this felt really weird. I have been watching Titans for six years, since season one came out, and I had in my mind how the world worked. But upon seeing that 20 minute episode, everything I thought I knew about the world was changed. The pieces all fell together, the mysteries were solved, and I understood. I really loved how the show portrayed Aaron's reaction to this. At the start of the show, he is just all about killing the Titans. Which made sense, given what happened to him and his family. But throughout the show, he's grown and matured but also had his doubts combined with his determination. This season felt like the end of Titan as we know it. And yes, there's another season four coming, and probably more after that. But in a way, it felt like that will be a sequel, not just another season. Either way, I look forward to it, and hope the Titan will continue not giving me what I think I want from it. If it does, it will continue to be among my favorite anime of all time.